So it's early in the morning. I don't know how early is that I don't even know. It's excitement o'clock. It's super early and we are driving to Valle de Funes. Today is gonna to be the best, most epic day ever. We're going to Valle de Funes, one of the most photographed valleys ever. And then we're going skiing in the biggest ski resort on the earth. Exactly. And then I'm going where we we are going to test drive a Maserati. This is scary. And then we're gonna ski some more, and then we're gonna eat. And then we're gonna have a five course dinner, and then who else knows what's gonna happen? And that, swimming. It's gonna be a big, I mean, the whole day's full of superlatives. Most photographed valley, biggest ski resort. It's gonna be awesome! It's funny, there's no cops here, like, whatsoever. Last night we were talking about how it's probably safer here than the US. What do you think? Yeah, we woke up early, 6 30, which is early for us. <laughs> Early for us. Before the sunrise, so that we can get golden hour for Chelsea to take pictures. This is the famous Valle de Funes, and that is the church that's so famously photographed. We came here for the sunrise, but it turns out that maybe sunset is actually what we want to see, where the lights on them. This beautiful valley. It's just really cool to see something on Instagram and then see it in real life. It's not like the right time of year to look perfect, but I still love it just as much. What's going on, my German babe? Uh, just going skiing in the Alps. So what we've learned about the Italian Alps is that everything's probably 50-60% of the cost of the Swiss Alps. We got all of our gear rented and full day passes here for 110 bucks 110 bucks which is like so much cheaper than the states yeah so. here in the italian alps for two people you can get your rental gear and a day pass all for the same price you would get like almost one pass in the u.s so this ski resort is connected to another town resort so you can ski from one town to the other town in this resort but anyways, it's the biggest in the world. They said there's almost 58 ski lifts is what they told me, something around there. They said that you could not do this whole resort in like a week. And like there's so much to do. And that right there is the Cavallino Blanco, big pimpin. If you have four people or less and you book really like in ahead of time, get one of the cheaper rooms, it's probably like 350, you get 350, 400 a night. It's bomb.com. It has two beds. They give you infant cribs for free, and then you get to rent everything, like strollers, diapers. You don't have to bring anything to the resort. It's so nice just to come, and our kids are in childcare right now. My mom's at the pool swimming, we're up skiing, and our kids are meeting kids from all over. Yesterday, Riley told me that she met a friend. She's like, I don't know what she was saying, but we still talked. <laughs> and it's just cute, because it's like, you get to experience like a different language, and different people from all over. You have no idea what they're saying, but you're still able to interact. We are the only Americans at the hotel, they told us. They say Americans rarely come to the hotel because it's like the lost gen, kind of. They don't know about it, because it's not like on websites or daily places to go. There's like a bunch of other places on hotels.com or whatever hotel site you look at. So look it up, you have to go to their website to look them up. Europe, Italian Alps, it's not as expensive as you think. We got round trip tickets into Venice for $450 for our flight. We had a really sucky like layover, but totally worth it. And then- It wasn't really sucky. We just had, to go, to too bad. We just had to go to Seattle for a few hours and then Amsterdam, which would have been on the way home though, we just go Amsterdam and Salt Lake. So it's not as bad. It's not too bad. Skiing's not cheap, not too bad. So as long as you can get a flight here for cheap, we follow flights from home, SLC on Instagram. That's where we get all our deals. I just have to say this because it's happening right now and it's making me very emotional. But on one of my dreams, I used to watch the Warren Miller videos every year. One of my dreams was to ski the Swiss Alps. I was like, Swiss Alps, Dolmites, Swiss Alps, whatever. My dream was to ski the Alps and I'm doing it right now. So it's one of my dreams in life coming true. We ain't so in Kansas cool. anymore. I'm 
I'm having a little bit of a Walter Mini moment right now. Up here, super ski Dolomites. It's unreal. It's just incredible. It's like incredible that a place like this even exists. And I've never even heard people talk about it. I'm comprehending what's going on. So we're skiing here, and then our hotel, evidently a bunch of rich dude people at our hotel, so Maserati's there doing test drives. So we're gonna ski down to the hotel, do a Maserati test drive, <laughs> something I will never ever buy. Take our kids to the pool and then come back and ski. What is this day? Best day ever! <laughs> and if we want to, we can take a helicopter and go ski on those. But since we have children, it makes it a little trickier. But when in Italy. When in Rome. We're definitely not in Rome. When in Rome, test drive a Maserati even though you don't plan on buying one. Full on cutting glass snips. Better watch out. You could cut your eyes on my abs if you're not careful. Lady and gents, Travis A. Chambers. I'm hoping so bad that he falls. So we're test driving a Maserati. This is the G Giggly? Ghibli. Ghibli. S Q4. The Ghibli that makes you giggly. <laughs> this Q4. 410 horse, but it has a top speed of what? Was it 250? 265. 260. There's not many cars with that horsepower that have that top speed. I think there's a Cadillac CTS CTXV. It's 500. But I think it, I think it maxes out at 150. <laughs> but it's heavy. The older version of the Maserati. Yes, I lived in Olomouc, Ostrava, Savic, and Prague. Prague. Well, Laura's a little car sick, sweating a little bit <laughs> for her Maserati experience. <laughs> That was cool. It was really cool. I, I'm already, I'm just a man of regret. I wish I would have drove a lot faster, <laughs> but I, know. I didn't want to crash or make, make that guy mad. <laughs> what are you all doing? What are you doing? Do you help?
So we just found out a very valuable piece of information about the Cavallino Bianco Hotel. So in the peak season in the winter, it's for five days, it's 30 grand. <laughs> We're getting it for 500 tonight. The price just dropped Monday because the skiing isn't good anymore. And in February, the prices up till last week, it was 7,000 for five nights. <laughs> Travel hack. March, Cavalio, Blink up Bianco. If you hit it just right, you'll still get to ski. <laughs> a ball pit here. They have all this cool stuff here. Toys for gays. He's worried. And then they have all of these play places. It's incredible.